I'm just showing you guys basic things like when you buy a homestead, you buy a farm, and just simple things that you can do if you want to. Good morning, friends. It's a really early morning, and we are back at it again. We are fixing the back porch because winter is slowly creeping up on us and we just gotta get the back porch fixed up because I need to work in there and it's so cold in there and we've done so much work so far but um, I'm sure my husband he's out there he was up bright and early and he's back again at it I hope you can see him in the back but can you see him there can you see him but he's out there and he's doing insulation in the back of the house there so insulation is going up in the back there yeah you can see a little bit there's insulation right there but anyways he's doing insulation in the back there and i am trying to make myself some breakfast because i have a million and one things to do outside and my voice is a little bit groggy because <laughs> i didn't wake up too long ago but anyways um yes that's what we're doing so i'll take you guys back and show you what's happening in the back of the porch because this porch have to be insulated before the first drop of snow gets here so as you can see we're doing insulation at the top insulation is going up my husband is on the ladder and we have insulation everywhere and everywhere cutting happening here and we still have a lot to do in the ceiling but hopefully we'll get it done today so we did these a couple of days ago this in between the rafters there as you can see these were done all the way to the end and now we have to finish the top so this is what's basically happening and again the office is a disaster but that's what you do when you're insulating so I'll come back and show you guys as we progress and what is happening anyway so we're almost done we have this small part here just a little bit on the edges here and the work is coming on so very quickly my husband started this early this morning and in just a couple of hours he was able to do all that stuff and I can feel here getting a little bit warmer already just by putting that up and So we are completely finished all the insulation of the ceiling. Yuppie doo! The insulation is finished. This end, this window over here. Um, I don't think we're gonna insulate it because that's gonna kind of get rid of some light on top there. So we are gonna put some plastic up there instead of putting the insulation. Because at some point a window, like a glass itself, is going to go on top there. So we're going to leave that for now. We're not going to insulate it. We thought we were going to do that, but we changed our mind. But the whole ceiling is insulated. And uh, that's looking good. So uh, we just got to do some clean up here. Because it's fiberglass all over. And... Um, in about an hour or so, my husband is going to start putting the plastic up. And once the plastic goes up, we have to put in the drywall. But I don't know if we're going to get to the drywall today. Maybe it's going to be another day. 
but uh, everything is coming on really nicely really smoothly and we are really really happy with the progress so guys as you can see the entire ceiling is finished as I mentioned before in the pre previous clip but now it's the cleaning process which is clean up all the little bits of uh, insulation especially the blue insulation from up there it's like a mess like this little blue insulation that is up here is just a disaster as you can see it's all over the place it's on my hat it's on everything so this thing just gotta go to and this is all the stuff that was in there that we used for the insulation all the mats are out there and all the things it's a mess out there um but this is what it is so now insulation is up and now we are basically having to clean the floors and everything like that now we're not doing anything to the floor we are planning to do put down some carpet but I don't think we're gonna have in time to put carpet down before the winter we'll see how that's gonna work because we need something um, soft here to keep here warm but um, we have some pieces of carpet and that's what we're using for now um, but then I have to um, have to take everything down and of course I have to cover everything and uh, as you can see here everything has to be covered because this little bits of stuff is just a mess and uh, yeah so that's basically it so I did my best in cleaning here but as you can see there's still little bits on the ground so <laughs> it's gonna take a couple of days to get these things completely clean it's just a mess but anyways we're um, I have to get my office back together as fast as I can and then um, once I do that um, things will get back to normal but as you can see I am cleaning and sweeping and trying to get back things in order and this is what's happening here right now and uh, my husband is definitely going to put the plastic up I hope we can get to that very soon because um, I don't like this um, this thing exposure I just feel like it's gonna fall down or something it's not gonna fall I'm just kidding but anyway this is just exposed here and uh, um, um, that's what we're doing and he's gonna put the plastic so once the plastic is up then I will start to work in here get everything back the way it should be and I'll start to do some work but I don't think it's safe to be working in here until the plastic is up because these little bits of things can fall into things and um, <clears throat> I don't think this this is good for inhaling or something like that so no working in here in my office space until the plastic is up so the only thing I'll be doing is clean up all the bits and pieces on the floor and clean up the mats and stuff and keeping everything covered and clean as best as I can until everything is done so I I'm left to do the cleaning up <laughs> the cleanup part but it's okay because um, this this took a lot of work um, yeah so I'm kind of tired <laughs> because I've been cleaning and cleaning and cleaning up the floor now I'm going to move to um, getting all these mats outside clean and getting rid of all this um, stuff that we have here. Um, yeah, it's a mess out here. Getting rid of all this mess that is out here. Clean all the carpets that is out there. And yeah, trying to bring them back in and making some kind of order in there because, um, yeah that's basically what it is so guys this is what it is we are basically you know the, you know what it is we are just trying to insulate our porch to make it into our office space those of you who are new to the channel and this was just a sunroom and we just converted it into our office space and honestly guys it's just taking a lot of time but it's worth it and I can't excuse me <laughs> I can't wait for it to finish so I can see the final product. I know it's not going to be completely finished until next spring, but at least I'll be able to work in it. 
at least I'll be able to work in it. And um, I, I'd have to work in another part of the house and take up so much space in my in my house. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. So this is a side part here. This we have nine open like oh, nine screens. And since we didn't have time to get windows, and actually we couldn't find windows yet for the size of the screens here, we just decided to put um, plastic on it. And this is like a heavy duty plastic that you would use for um, like greenhouses. Well, it's not a really greenhouse plastic, but this is heavy duty plastic. And it, if you put two layers of plastic, it's gonna be warm. So that's what we did. We put two layers of plastic and plus we have another a thing like what's outside there that um, I don't know how you call it. But this paneling, we have a paneling in between and then we have two layers of plastic. So this is it's pretty warm in there. Um, and then in the spring, we'll take this all down and then we'll put windows. So we, I think we have 19, 19 screens and I think we're going to put four or five windows and then everything is just going to be plain glass um and then we're gonna have to put in some heaters in there and some other things but for now it works well uh for now it works well and i just want to give you guys a view of the side so that's just the side and that's what that's how it's gonna be until next spring and um yeah that's that's basically it so the whole side of the building is of the porch is wrapped in this plastic so the whole side is wrapped in plastic all the way around. As you can see, the whole side is wrapped. And at the bottom here, we the bottom is completely insulated. And we have to buy some siding to put on here, but that's going to be for the next spring. All we're going to do is put the plastic, uh, staple the plastic in. And that's going to be that's going to protect the MBS board from rotting during the winter from getting too wet. And then next spring we will be doing some more work. So this is all the insulation that we have left over. So um, I think this was um, used insulation that we got, and we bought a little bit too much. I think we bought two, four, six. I think we bought like ten sheets. But um, it was too much, so we're gonna have to find we're gonna find some other projects that we can use it in. Um, so for now, it's there. Trust me, guys. We have many, many things that we can use this insulation for. So yeah, that's what it is. And I think we may even use this insulation for the bottom of the. Um, we may cut it in pieces and do the bottom here, like right at the bottom here. Like right here, I think we might just do this whole side just to prevent um, um, cold air from going in because underneath this porch, we have all well and pipes and stuff are underneath there. So we're going to insulate the, the side until the snow comes. There's a ladybug on my camera. <laughs> ladybug, come off my camera. Come off. Yes, ladybug there. We have lots of ladybugs. Look at them. See? Look at the ladybug. Yeah, you have lots of ladybugs. They, they come every spring, a whole pile of them. Look at them. Ladybug, ladybug. Yep. So, have lots of ladybugs. Um, but, anyways, that's what we're doing. Um, we're going to use these things to insulate the side. So, it's going to be warm underneath there. That's going to give us like warmer feet <laughs> when, we, when I'm out there working. But we also gonna get some more carpet and I hope we can find enough carpet before the winter come in to put down. But we have some other things. We even planning on getting hay and just putting all around the porch. So kind of insulate it. Um, yeah, insulate all the way around. So it's gonna keep warm. So feet wouldn't be so cold. But yeah, there's a lot of things that we are doing for the porch and to keep us uh, warm in there and yeah so i'm going to keep you guys updated as we continue and of course i'm going to show you guys the final uh the finished product as is <laughs> when we completely done and we're warm enough for the um winter i'm going to show you guys and of course you have to come back next spring so you can see 
the windows going up and all the other stuff going up and then i am going to come back once we completely put everything in the ceiling and everything for the for this winter i'm going to come back and tell you the cost so far of everything without the windows and everything so you have to come back next spring to find out the cost of the windows and everything but guys that was that's like a i'm just showing you guys basic things like when you buy a homestead you buy a farm and just simple things that you can do if you want to renovate something you want to fix something turn it into something else it doesn't have to be like a huge big project because i mean if we were gonna have somebody come in and do these things for us it's gonna be so much money so we did our research do diys and we are quite happy all right guys so this is the update so far and i'll come back and show you some more things as we go along